Welcome back. Uh, this is Coach Evans from Sip Tyler Films, and today's video is on Lamar Jackson. If you see this chart on here, his it's his it's his spray chart from the game versus Washington. And what we're gonna focus on today is his passes over 20 yards. And so um, he has seven passes over 20 yards. Um, one, two, three of them were complete. Four were incomplete. And um, you know, I saw somebody in I don't know if it was my chat box or on Twitter or what they said. Zero can't scheme guys open. And Granted, that may be the case on some plays. You can't just throw that blanket statement out there because it's sometimes it's Giro, sometimes it's Lamar, sometimes it's the receiver, sometimes it's the old line. And so what I did was I pulled those seven plays, and we're going to take a look at it and see who's the blame or who's at fault or who did a good job. So with that being said, cue the best intro on YouTube. All right, so welcome back. You know, I talked about the first, well, those seven throws in the intro, and now we're going to put some um, film with that uh, graphic that I displayed earlier. Um, those seven throws, and you know, I found them in film, and let's go over them. And again, some people said that G Row can't scheme guys open. Uh, I, you know, part of that may be the problem, but I think it's a combination of both. I think it's a combination of guys individually not getting open. Uh, when guys are open, Lamar may be overthrowing them or not hitting them. And some of us the scheme. But those seven throws plus 20 yards, let's, let's dig into it real quick. Uh, don't want to keep you too long. First throw is, this is what? First quarter with two minutes and 51 seconds left. Keep in mind, most of those throws came in the second quarter. But this first one is the first quarter with two minutes and 51 seconds left. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Ball's going to Hollywood. Most of you remember. And most of y'all watch the game, so y'all intelligent. Y'all know what happened on this play right here. But uh, Hollywood's the, the target. And let's see what let's play it and see what happens. Got a play action, which is what we do a lot of. Now what I'm gonna do is at some point I'm gonna pause it and then we're gonna talk about it and kind of see if if it's if he schemed the guy open or if he got open or what. Alright, so right now. Uh not open right here. Not open right here. Hollywood's not open. So this one, this play, nobody was schemed open. So now we're going to improvise, which is what Lamar's good at improvising. Hollywood gives a little shake. Not even really shake. He just pivot. And so here, a lot of people don't know how difficult this is. Lamar is going this way, but is going to throw the ball back in this space. And he's going to throw the guy open. Because he's not open right now. So he's going to throw across his body and throw a dart and throw Hollywood open. This is extremely difficult. This is this is something you normally don't want your QB to do. At this point, you kind of want him to throw the ball away because you don't want him to throw across his body. But watch it. And so we say, he didn't throw across his body. Let's go back and prove it to you. He's on the 40 right now, headed that way. So let me pause it when he lets it go. He lets it go right now outside the 40. Maybe two, three yards outside the 40. Watch where Hollywood catch the ball. On the inside of the number. Definitely threw across his body. Definitely difficult throw. And the ball's not in nobody's way. This is a defender. This is a defender. This is a defender. The ball's not in Holmes' way. So it's just a great throw. And good job of Hollywood, you know, with Yak. And, you know, I, I probably won't have a video about this, but Hollywood did a good job of getting Yak this game. Did a good job of getting Yak. Let's go on to play two. Play two is the first play of the second quarter. I think this ball going to Hollywood too, I think. Top of your screen. That look open to me. I don't know about y'all, but it look like a guy's open to me. So, was he schemed open? Yep. He's taking that. Look like they're in some kind of cover two look. He got that. He's taking the middle. So if they're in Tampa two, the, if they're in Tampa two, he got him. Uh, the, he got they covering the flats right there. We don't really have nobody in this flat, but he still got to respect it. Uh, and so now he's just gonna try, Hollywood gonna split the safeties. He's gonna split the safeties. And with a great little out fake first by Hollywood. 
Now, that's open. That's the NFL open right there. That's the NFL open. Why did this ball fail? One, two, three, five, five yards overthrown. That's on Lamar there. G. Rose schemed him open, got him open. Hollywood made a great, like, fake the corner and hit the post. Just five yards overthrown. So, again, first play was was Lamar that made a great throw. This play, Lamar did make a great throw. Protection good. Look at the protection right there. Protection good so far. Look at that. Got a pocket. Got a pocket. Stepped up. Still got a pocket. Clean pocket. Clean pocket. Just missed throw. Clean pocket. Missed throw. So did G. Rose scheme him open? Yep. Did Lamar complete the ball? No. Did Hollywood run a good route? Yes. Next play. It's uh, the very next play. The very next play of the game. I don't remember what happened on this one. Ah, this dude. Boykin. So he's trying to throw a little fade to Boykin. Boykin got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Down here at the bottom. Dude playing outside leverage. He doesn't do anything to make him jump inside or turn inside. So now dude played outside leverage. Look where he is. He's almost out of your screen. Running wide. So didn't do anything to stack. So he it ain't much room for error on this throw. Ain't much room for error on this throw. And dude kind of grabbing the hole a little bit, but still. I, I blame the dude in white right there for a bad route. He ain't do much to get off, off the line of scrimmage. Let's go back and look at it. He don't do much to try to work this man off the line of scrimmage. I'm going to just hit play and put it in slow motion. Slow forward. Play. Oh, my bad. Messed up. Hold on. Let me bag it up. No, never mind. Regular, regular speed look like slow motion. <laughs> but, again, bad route right here and not much room for error. Now, you know, good quarterbacks can fit that in now. Lamar good quarterback in, so he probably could hit this throw half to maybe a little bit more than half the time, but this time he just didn't hit it. But, again, it, he didn't give him much room for error. So, combination of route, not a, not the greatest throw. Was a little bit of holding by, by the defender that wasn't called. But, I mean, it just, it's crazy that all this stuff – kind of ends up around Boykin. And I, and I want to root for him. I want him to do good because him doing good is going to open it up for everybody else on the team, but he just ain't looking too hot right now. Let's go on to the next play. This is the fourth play. This is, what time this is? I think I skipped one, my bad. 4.41 in the second quarter. Mm, let's see what going on. I don't remember this one either. Play action again. Look like somebody, look like somebody's open to me. This is dagger concept. This is the dagger concept. Deep dagger. So what happens in the dagger concept? For those that don't know. They think this is Duvernay. He just going to clear this thing out. Hollywood's going to run a 10, 15 yard in-ish looking route down here. And because Duvernay cleared it out, the middle of the field, the middle of the field should be open. Call it dagger concept. Running play action. Duvernay clear, trying to clear it out. Just running full speed. I ain't looking for the ball. Just trying to get over top. Safety got to take him. This guy right here is opening to him now. Opening to Duvernay now. And Duvernay might be open right now. Because I don't think anybody else is back here. He's open. I Unless somebody else back there. Let's count these people up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, maybe? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it ain't it ain't six. It's five right here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's just one person right here. I I can't count. So we got eleven. Yeah, so with that being said, do they open. Lay this ball over top, do they open. So that's one dude scheme though. But watch you get the ball. Because when he opened his hips to go run with Duvernay, Duvernay passed these people. 
This ball should have went to Duvernay for six. I didn't realize that until now. But Hollywood catches this ball at about 20-some-odd yards because Duvernay cleared it out. But this was a money ball. This ball should have went to him for a touchdown. So instead of getting 30 yards, we should have had a um, 75-yard touchdown. That's what we should have had. I know I'm being picky now, even though we got 30-some yards. But, hey, it is what it is. So, schemed open. Schemed open. I ain't going to say it's the wrong read, but we could have had six. We could have had six. Look at that. Could have had six. These dudes, he looking at the quarterback. This guy right here looking at the quarterback. Uh, I don't know if he's looking at Hollywood or the quarterback. can't really tell. This dude looking at the quarterback, but he ain't no factor no way. You throw this ball in the air to about right here. That way this dude can't get it. Oh, you can't even see that mark. Hold on, let me see if I can. Throw that ball right up in here somewhere. Like, with air on it because he can't get back over top of him. You throw it deep. That's six. That's six. So, G. Rose schemed him open. Did Lamar hit the, the open guy? Mm, yeah. Could have had six, though. And, I, you know, the pocket's kind of collapsing, too. So, that may have something to do with it. Because I look at these people in Lamar's face. This pocket right here in Lamar's face. And here's Lamar. So, that, that could have something to do with it. Even though he, he didn't take a hit, he's still up. And we got 31 yards, so I'm, I'm, I guess I'm being picky. Next play, 315 left. So shortly thereafter. What's this right here? Got an empty look. Incomplete pass, but I want to show you. Is somebody open? You doing right there open. He not open. He not open. But this dude open with all this space. He open with all this space. Why this ball not completed? Because he's throwing on the run. That's why this ball not completed. He's throwing on the run. So did G. Rose keep him open? Yes. Did the Hollywood and the receivers run good routes for the most part? Yes. Pressure broke down. Lamar throwing on the run. This ball is short. And the Apke uh, gets a hand on it. Appy gets a hand on it. So, you know, still, I'm just proving my point. It's a combination of things. You can't just blame one person. That's that's the point I'm trying to make. Next play. Got my boy Proche in the game. Right, let's, let's back it up a little bit. Anybody open? Nope. Nobody but. But this dude. And Lamar's running this way, so so now when Lamar takes off this way, that the field's cut in half. The in, only thing you can do is is, is above this line. The only thing you can look at is anything over here. So the field's cut in half now. So the Boykin don't matter. I think it's Boykin. Proche don't matter, and nobody's back here. That's he's guarding grass. He, he crazy. He guarding grass back there. Now improvising again. Scrammer drill, you because you know it's scrammer drill because he this dude turns up. I think this boy, I think he turns up. That's he turns up. He Hollywood just trying to find an open spot, and Andrews just saw an open spot, just took off to it. But luckily, he gets away from the pressure enough to make a good throw. And Andrews goes and gets it for a touchdown. So nobody's really schemed open on this one. We just did a good job of improvising, good job of scrammer drill. It's a good job of scramble, scramble drill. And this is 42 seconds left. This is, actually, this is the last one. Let's play seven. What happens here? Uh, well, let's go back and see if people open. At this point, nobody's open. Andrews could be open right here. Let's, let's let it play a little bit. Oh, Andrew, I thought he was running the curl. He ran in the dig. So, Andrews is not open. So, nobody schemed open right here. But the crazy thing is, the pocket's good and the ball's gone. This is probably the most accurate deep throw he, throw, he threw. Even though it wasn't complete. This ball was right off of Hollywood fingertips. The defense just played a little better. This was probably the most accur accurate. The most accurate. I was going to say the accuratest. That ain't no word. This is the most accurate deep ball he threw the whole game. It just, you know, the defense plays a little bit better. So, 
Nobody was schemed open. Lamar just didn't hit it. And, you know, can't blame Hollywood on the route. Hollywood just, you know, he being fast. He doing what he do. Doing what he do. And for those of you that don't know, this cat right here that's upside down, is probably one of the fastest safeties in the NFL. That's Apke, Troy Apke. So, so don't don't sleep on it. He's probably one of the fastest safeties in the NFL. Don't sleep on it. But, you know, this me proving my point that all you can't just blame Giro for everything. Some Giro had some of these guys open, schemed some of these guys open. Lamar didn't hit them. They ran good routes. Lamar didn't hit them. Uh, West Cobb didn't run a good route. Uh, Borkin didn't run a good route. It's The blame is for, for all of them. It ain't just Lamar. It ain't just Giro. It ain't just the receivers. It, it's, it's all of them. But we got to win. And you, you still can work on it. You're still working on it. It's a progress. The, the season is a, a marathon, not a sprint. And you can almost go and say this is the the season starts next week. This is your pre your preseason's over. Even though the starters don't play a lot in preseason, but this is your first four games of game experience. You didn't hit much in practice. You, practice was almost like a cakewalk. Like camp was almost like a cakewalk. So now you got your, your, your three four games out the way. It's time to lock it in and and, and finish. And it's just as a this is a season unlike any other. And you got to take them first four games and, and get what you can get. And honestly. If we if we go three and one each section each quarter of the the season I'm cool with that that's twelve and four that's twelve and four as long as we getting better and not getting worse if we go three and one this next quarter this next quarter which will put us at six and two I ain't necessarily mad at that and then you double that up that's twelve and four I I can't be mad at that no I mean I want more but I can't be mad at that but again this is this video was for to you know to prove that it ain't just zero. It ain't just Lamar. It ain't just the receivers. It ain't just the O-line. It's a, it's a combination of everything. It's the offense. And once they put it together, I think we'll be all right. But they're just trying to they trying to figure it out. Because teams are playing Lamar different. I don't know if you notice it or not. Or not. But um, a lot of times Lamar pulls the ball. It's two or three guys waiting. That It wasn't like that last year. It's two or three guys waiting. So they just got to figure out the adjustment to what defenses are doing. And it's true, man. The NFL players and coaches, they get paid too. And Lamar embarrassed most of the league last year, and they probably determined not to let him embarrass them this year. He luckily he got a uh, power read off for fifty this time, and you know probably won't get another power read <laughs> that clean anytime soon. But again, if this is your first time here, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I drop these random videos. Uh, we recently went over four. 4,400 subs. I appreciate you guys. Let's try to push the 5,000 before the season's out. And um, Patreon people, I got something dropping for you soon. Uh, the next video is going to be about Patrick Queen and his, his 12 tackles. Patreon, I got, you know, I ain't going to tell you what your stuff is. You'll see it when they get out. But you'll get one, if not two, videos um, this weekend and on the Patreon channel. And over there on Patreon, it's only a dollar. So if you want to join, it's a link in the description. You know, go ahead and jump on that also. This is Coach Evans with Sippy Tyler Films. See you when I see you. Peace. Yeah.